we split it in two, and then we split it in two again. There's Mark. Mark comes right after Matthew. There's Matthew. Look for big number 21. 21. So you've got what number? What, 27. So is 21 before or after 27? What comes first, 1 or 7? One. So you got to go back this way to find 21. There's 23. So you're getting close. Oh, look what you found. You found chapter 21. You want to try to? Okay, you found it good. All right, so Matthew chapter 21. Again, did, did anybody guess who Matthew was? Yes, he was. Matthew was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus. And Josiah, guess what Matthew did for a living? Guess what he did for a job? Matthew was a tax collector. Oh, I know my guy. Boo! Nobody likes tax collectors. Boo! Nobody likes tax collectors. Me too. You know why? Because I work with them. I work in the tax office. Oh. Yeah. Boo. 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 Everybody hates me. Everybody hates me. Don't. 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 Don't hate me because I'm so beautiful. Don't hate me because I'm so good looking. But Matthew, Matthew was a tax collector. Now, tax collectors back then, not now, but back then, they used to cheat people. They used to say, I know you really owe me $5, but I want you to pay me six. Oh, wait a minute, I only owe you five. Yeah, but pay up or I'm gonna turn you in. Pay up or I'm gonna put you in jail. And they'd have to pay. Like, like, you had to pay just so then you could not go to jail? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Well, see, everybody has to pay taxes. Even nowadays, everybody has to pay taxes. Yeah, she could. I had, just this past week, I had to write out a very big check for my taxes. Because every, see, all the stuff that you see out there, the roads and all that, somebody's got to pay for that. It costs money to live. It costs money to have roads and have street lights and have schools. Wait, I to say all of that costs money. And they take it by taxes. That's how they get the money to do all that stuff. So everybody has to pay some taxes. Now, Matthew, when he was he was sitting at his table getting ready, collecting taxes, and Jesus came up to him and said, follow me. And you know what Matthew did? He quit his job. He quit his job and followed Jesus. Yay. He was a tax collector no more. But Matthew was one of the men who wrote the Gospels. So Matthew wrote in here. Now listen, let me set this story up for you. So we've got just a little bit of time. So let me set it up really quickly for you. Jesus did a lot of things. What do you, what do you call when somebody does something that it should not have happened? It, it's a miracle. Thank you. Jesus did a lot of miracles. And one of the miracles he did was he raised people from the dead. Think about that. Somebody's dead, and Jesus comes and says, now the guy's name was Lazarus. He was a friend of Jesus, and Lazarus had died. And Jesus came, and Lazarus had been dead for four days. And they, back then, they don't bury him in the ground like they do now. They put they put him in a cave. Like Jesus? Yeah. Jesus was actually in a cave. When they talk about the tomb of Jesus, it was actually a cave. Okay. Yeah. So, Lazarus was in the cave. And Jesus came up to the cave and he said, Lazarus, come out! Come on out, Lazarus! Now, back then they would wrap people's bodies up. They would wrap the bodies up real tight. So I can see Lazarus, his face is covered. All of a sudden, you can see inside the cave, somebody's coming like this. 
and his face is all covered. And he's been walking like this because he's all, he's all tied up. And he walks out like a mummy. Like a penguin. And, yeah, kind of like a penguin, right? He walks out. Wait a minute, that's not supposed to happen. He was dead. He'd been dead for four days. But here he is. And they said, untie him, loose him. Get the bandages off of him. And Lazarus was alive. Now, that freaked the people out. They said, what kind of guy is this Jesus? What kind of guy is he to raise the dead? Wow. So they heard that Jesus was coming into Jerusalem. And all of Jerusalem was all a buzz over what had happened to Lazarus. And they heard that Jesus was coming. And Jesus said to his disciples, I want you to go find a little colt of a donkey, a baby donkey. A baby donkey. A baby donkey. He said, what? Find it. Yep. He said, find a baby donkey, a little burrow. Well, a little burrow. Would that be a burrito? A burrito. Would that be a burrito? Yum, I love burritos, but not that kind. Yes, a little, a little donkey. A baby donkey. And he said, when you find him, bring him to me. And they put their, they put their clothes down on his back, on the donkey's back. And Jesus got on the donkey and rode into the city. Yes, Nathaniel. Yeah. Today, huh? And, and I saw, I saw big donkeys and little donkeys. Yeah. One was, one was a little baby and, uh -huh. and one, one had a stomach. So Jesus was riding in on a baby donkey. And one had a stomach ache with a baby donkey. Yeah. So when the people heard that Jesus was coming, they all gathered in front of him. And they began to cut palm uh, branches off the trees. Now, you know what palm trees are, right? Yeah. 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 Now, listen, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, I lived in the Northeast. I lived in Pennsylvania and I lived in New York. And kids didn't know what palm trees were. They'd only seen it in pictures. Most people hadn't seen a palm tree in real life. Now, here in Phoenix, we got palm trees. And they cut the palm trees down and they put them in the path for the donkey to, to walk on. And they started throwing, you know, doing palm leaves at Jesus. Hail Jesus! Hosanna! 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 Giving praise to God. <clears throat> Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You see, because they understood that Jesus didn't do the miracles by his own power. He was doing the miracles by God's power. Jesus raised the dead because of the power of God. And they knew that Jesus was a friend of God. What they didn't realize is Jesus was more than a friend of God. Who was he? He was the Son of God. Exactly. Exactly. Jesus was the Son of God. But they were giving praises not to Jesus, but they were giving praises to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And they wanted to take him and make him a king. Hey! We got a guy who can do miracles. Let's come and make him a king. That wasn't what that wasn't what God had intended. But see, can you imagine what kind of a party that must have been? What kind of a parade that must have been? Jesus coming in on a donkey. People throwing their clothes, their jackets, and uh, just their jackets. Okay, keep your mind. Keep your mind. Just, they're throwing their jackets, their coats down before him for the donkey to walk on. Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That was a great time for Jesus. You see, because they were giving glory to God. They were giving glory to God. That's what Jesus wanted. That's all Jesus wanted was for people to give glory to God. Now, did you know that God has given us the power to do miracles? Did you know that? No. Yes. Because it's not our power. Whose power is it? God. God's power. But God will, God will use everyone who's willing to do miracles. If you're willing, if you're obedient to God, 
and you're willing to listen to Him, He's going to use you to do miracles. Now, what happens when people start saying, Wow, Dominic is some great guy. He's doing these miracles. Is that something you want to hear? Dominic is a great guy. He's doing all these miracles. What do you think? Is that something? Just, just yes or no. What do you think? No. Exactly. No. You don't want to. Eric is such a great guy. He's doing all these miracles. No, 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 no. It's not you. It's not Jason. It's the God of Jason. It's God that you want. Whenever God uses you to do wonderful things, make sure that all the praise and all the glory goes to God. Because He's the only one that's worthy. It's not your power. I don't have any power. Anything that I have, God gave to me. That's why that's, this was such a great time. Because what were the people saying? What was the word that they were saying? Hosanna. Hosanna. And Hosanna. Hosanna. We sang that in the song this morning. Hosanna. Is praise to whom? To whom is praise? When you say Hosanna, who are you giving praise to? God. You're giving praise to God. Make sure that everything you do, make sure that everything you do gives praise to God. Because when you make sure of that, God will be pleased with you. God will be Everything that happens, if you point, give all the glory to God, not to me. Give it to God. And God will be pleased with you and He'll use you more. What do you think, Roman? In three weeks. Three no two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. So that means two more days? Two more weeks. Two more Sundays. Yeah. Alright. Who do we give praise to? God. Who do we give glory to? God. Do we give glory to Katie? No. no. Sorry. Glory, all the glory goes to God. All the praise goes to God. Always remember that and God will be pleased with you. Everybody bow your heads. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, we thank you. We thank you that Jesus was the pattern that he showed us as the people were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the glory was going to you. And Lord, we want to make sure that whatever we do, because Lord, we know that you want to use us to do wonderful and mighty things. And we want to make sure that all the glory goes to you and to you alone. For you are the only one deserving of all the praise. Lord, I pray that we would, that we would uh, listen to you, that we would learn to hear your voice and to do whatever you ask us to do, that we might also give glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.